Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. And welcome to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is public transport and local media <laughs> and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we need to sanitize so let's take our sanitizer and we are going to rub carefully on our hands. Remember, we can also stay safe from coronavirus by practicing social distancing, by checking with your hands beside you or in front of you as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we are going to be doing diagraphs and diphthongs with some problem solving. For our first exercise today, boys and girls, let's turn to page 25. On page 25, we are going to be doing some diagraphs. Now, diagraphs are very, very fun to do. It is when we blend two letters to make one sound. Now, the pictures that you can see all have diagraphs in them. And we are going to try and find first to say the name of the picture in the beginning of the row. And then the second thing we are going to do is circle the word that begins with the same sound as the picture. So first we need to say the name of the picture. So let us do this together. Shoe. Shoe. Snail, snail, church, church. Well done. Now I'm going to show you what these words look like when we write them down. So the first word we have is the word shoe, shoe. Now the beginning sound we can hear is shoe. Very good. Then the next one we can see is a snail. Snail. And the sound we can hear in the beginning is s. S. Very good. Then we have our last one, church. Church. And the sound at the beginning of the word church is ch, ch. Well done. So we have a beginning sound, sh. Kind of like you're telling someone to keep quiet, sh. <laughs> then we have sn, sn. And then the last sound we have at the beginning of the word is ch. So now that we know what the diagraphs sound like, let's now try and look for words that sound like the ones in the beginning. 
Let's take a look at our exercise. So in our exercise, we are now going to read the words after the picture. So we know that we have a shoe. Shoe. Let's read the words that follow. Ship. City. Happy. Hay. Let's read them again. Ship. City, happy, hey. Which word sounds like our shoe at the beginning? If you said the word ship, well done, good job. So I'd like you to please circle the word ship because it starts like our word shoe. Ship, shoe, well done. I also want you to try and do the same for the two that follow. Remember, we have a snail and a church. So take your time and read those words so that you find the one that sounds like our picture at the beginning. Let's now go to the bottom of the exercise. The bottom of the exercise is asking us to say the name of the picture at the beginning of the row. And then after that, we circle the word that begins with the same sound as the picture. So let us take a look at our pictures. We have corn, corn, bird, bird. Carrots, carrots. Now I'm going to show you what they look like after we write the word down. So the first word is the word corn. Corn. It starts with a k. Corn. The next one is the word bird. Bird. It starts with a B. And then the next one we have is carrots. Carrots. It starts with the word k. So we have the sounds k in corn, b in bird, k in carrot. I want you to also try and find the words that sound the same as our words that we have here. So take your time, read them out loud, like how we have been doing it now. And when you do find your words, don't forget to circle them and then try again to read them according to the picture. I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Now for our next exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page 26. On page 26, we are now going to be doing diphthongs. Now diphthongs are when two words that come together and, sorry, not words, letters, <laughs> that come together in a word to give it a complete word. Now remember, Letters make sounds. Sounds turn into words. And those words can be used to make a sentence. So this is what we're going to be doing today. Let's take a look at the board to see which letters we're going to be using. Now we have the letter E and we have the letter W. And when E and W are together, they make an U sound. 
So we have our letter E <laughs> and our letter W. And when they come together as friends, they become U. So you are going to use this as something that is going to help you complete the sentences. Let's do number one, two, and three together. Number one says, the wind dash the tree down. The wind dash the tree down. Do we say the word blue or do we say the word flu? The wind dash the tree down. If you say that it is the word blue, well, Done. I want you to please put the word blue. Now, let's move on to the next one, number two. Number two says, let's read it together. Dad bought a dash car. Dad bought a dash car. Do we say the word Few or new. Few or new. Dad bought a dash car. If you said the word new, well done. Good job. So I'd like you to please write the word new. Then the last one we're going to do together, number three, my puppy likes to dash my toys. <laughs> Let's try again. My puppy likes to dash my toys. Do we say the word chew or do we say the word crew? Chew crew. My puppy likes to dash my toys. If you said crew, let's try and use it in the sentence and see if it makes sense before we write it. My puppy likes to crew my toys. Oh no, boys and girls, that doesn't sound correct. So let us try and use chew. My puppy likes to chew my toys. Yes, that one is correct. So you are going to write the word chew. And the rest of these sentences you're going to do by yourselves. So take your time, read each word. And if you don't know what the word means, you can always ask your adult or your mom and dad, whoever's around you, to help you. Take your time, make sure you finish the, the exercise by yourself and I will see you soon after the Advent break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now for our last exercise for this lesson, let's turn to page 27. On page 27, we are going to be doing some problem solving. And this time, we are going to be doing number three together. Remember, when we're doing some problem solving, we first need to read the story to understand what it is all about. And then we choose the numbers we're going to be using and then we decide whether we're going to add or subtract. Then after that, we write a complete sentence about the answer. So let us try number three. Number three says, Sam has to write 15 letters. He has only written seven letters. How many more letters does he have to write? Let's read it again. 
This time, take a good look at the numbers and listen carefully. Sam has to write 15 letters. He has only written seven letters. How many more letters does Sam have to write? Now, on my table, I do have some letters with me. In fact, they are all going to my special friends, just like Sam. So, I only have seven on my table. So, we're going to count them just to make sure that they are seven. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There they are, seven letters that I have written. But I need more. So, just like Sam, we need to get to 15 letters. Now, you can either use your counters or you can try and use your fingers. But this time, I'm going to use my counters. So, I have my counters here and they are going to help me know how many more I need to write, just like Sam. So we ended at seven. Now I need to continue to count to see how many I have left. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, did we add or subtract? If you said we subtracted, oh no, my dear children, we need to add more so that we can finish our letters. Remember, we need 15 and we only have seven. So our counters were added as the letters that we need. Let's see how many more we need to write. So we have gotten up to 15 and now we're going to count how many counters we have. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. I need to write eight more letters. Okay, so I have my letters here, the envelopes. So I'm going to make sure that I write eight more letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Now I have written enough letters for all my friends. So remember, you need to first find the numbers and then decide whether you're adding or subtracting. And then after that, you complete the sum with a sentence that says, for this case, we, he needs to write eight more letters. He needs to write eight more letters. So take your time, show your sum when you are writing it and don't be afraid to use counters or sticks or your number line as well as your fingers. Take your time and I will see you soon after you've done your work and this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson and boys and girls, I hope you had so much fun. 
remember if you're not sure or you can't remember what to do you can always ask an adult for help just make sure that you end up finishing your work by yourself now that we are done though it is time for us to sanitize so let us take our sanitizer and rub our hands carefully remember you can always use soap and water to sanitize and keep your hands germ free make your make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else i wonder though i thought i saw him somewhere my dear friend sashi should be around oh <laughs> hello sashi so from sashi and i we would like to say thank you for joining us today and Goodbye! <laughs>